so I took a trip to my parents' house uh, over the weekend. And I brought back a box of cards here that I had in my uh, childhood bedroom, um, most of which I haven't looked at or have seen the light of day in over 30 years. Um, I did look at a couple things real quick. For example, I, I got this uh, Topps Traded Football set from 89, which is, you know, essentially untouched. And I pulled out the, the Sanders, uh, the Aikman, and the Barry, which looks really good. Um, so maybe consider that for a future PSA submission. And then I, uh, I found this Dick Pole card from 1977, and I shared this one on Instagram. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go through uh, a lot of this. So it might be a pretty long, mundane, boring video. But if you're into like the, I guess the junk wax era, you know, late 80s and uh, early 90s stuff, I'm going to see if I can find any keys still kicking around in here. And I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to set up the old uh, tripod for the camera and uh, get at it. All right, let's see what we got here. I got this uh, small box of cards that says, well, I guess this is 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball set. So I don't think I need to go through all this. But it's probably um, what I should do is uh, pull out the, I guess, the Jordans. Um, all right, let me, I'm going to pause the video. I don't want to go through all this, but I'm going to go through this right now, and I'm going to uh, pull out, see if I can find any of the Jordan cards and whatnot, and then I'll see what they look like in a bit. Okay, so I went through uh, that a little bit. I pulled these two. Um, the Jordan, which uh, looks really nice. Of course, it's not hard to keep these cards in top condition. Um because of the cardstock that was used. And I pulled this Magic Versus Jordan, which is almost reminiscent of that uh, 2008, or maybe the other way around, uh, Topps uh, Kobe LeBron card. Really cool. Um, so those two for sure. And let's see what else we got. I believe, oh, this set. Uh, I remember buying a lot of these packs, Classic Four Sport, and there's really nothing in here. Um, at the time, I think the big cards were like Rocket. Yeah, I think here you had Lindros, Rocket Ishmael. Uh, was that Russell Maryland and uh, Larry Johnson? Oh no, Brian Taylor and Brian Taylor, Larry Johnson, Eric Lindros, and uh, Russell Maryland are on this card. And this had. Oh, man, the cardstock has got that glossy finish, so they stick together. I don't think there's really any big cards in this. Um, I think Billy Owens was a big one. Um, from the baseball side, I don't know. There's, oof. There might be a Brett Favre in here, maybe, from football. I haven't looked at the checklist in, obviously, forever, but you see some of the ball players here. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they're sticking... Yeah, I mean, a lot of these guys, Ricky Waters, he made the pros. Larry Johnson, that was probably a big card, too. UNLV, there's Billy Owens. Dikembe Mutombo. And hockey players. Hockey, I have the least amount of knowledge on. Although I, I went to college at a D1 hockey school, um, ECAC division in the Northeast. Remember the hockey guys would come to class, they wouldn't, they wouldn't even bring pencils and paper, they were just there to play hockey and they weren't there very long. Um, a couple players went pro, like, like the sophomore year. We never saw them again. Um, without saying too much, I don't want to say where I went to school, but I think there's one guy that actually had a long career. Wasn't a superstar, but he was good. Anyway, 
So here's these. I don't. I get. Oh, here's Brian Taylor. This this might have been the biggest card in this set. Um, David McCarty, Dimitri Young. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna go through all these. They're sticking together. It's gonna take too much time. But the classic four sport. I love these cards, man. I remember there's a local card store up where I went to school, and uh, he was selling these packs, and I bought a lot. I think I have the whole set here. Um, so there's that. What's this thing? So this, oh, I think this is the, uh, I, this is like a Sundaway thing. This is the all GQ style team. Look at this. Limited edition, 1991. Limited to 10,000. But when you make a bazillion cards, then 10,000 is pretty limited on top of, you know, <laughs> tens of millions, I guess, right? Versus today's print runs where, I don't know, I guess uh, maybe even out of 250 or 500 is not considered that that rare. Um, anyway, Ken, Kevin Willis, Dominique Wilkins, you got Hakeem Olajuwon, Magic Johnson, Gerald Wilkins. So, yeah, I remember this was a send away. I forgot what I had to do to get it. I'm not sure if it was like sending in wrappers or if it was sending in uh, some combination of that with some money, probably for shipping or something. Uh, what else we got going on here? I did this one, did this one. Um, <clears throat> well, I kept this one sealed because this was going to be worth a lot of money someday. It's all world Canadian football featuring Rocket Ishmael, who I think had no fewer than like 12 cards in this set or something. <laughs> AW Sports Inc. <clears throat> Look at this thing. I think this was like 18 bucks back in 1991, maybe. Um, I have no idea. It's probably even worth the, the effort to open that up and dispose of the wrapper. Uh, Dunruss Rookies. Uh, I think I took the... Pretty sure I took the stars out of here. Um, Conseco, Bo Jackson, Barry Bonds. I don't think they're going to be in here. But this is a really cool set. And it was the first year of the... Uh, of the rookies, you know, Donruss had their version of the update set was, I think, in 1985, the uh, highlights, which I thought was really cool. And I have that, too. Um, a lot of nice cards in that. And again, I'm partial to 85 Donruss. But um, they went with this rookies. And it looks like I actually went ahead and took the puzzle apart and then put it back together. Why, I don't know, because the pieces are very loose. Um, let me just put that aside for now. 88 tops traded. I'm not going to go through this. There's nothing in here that I'm aware of. Maybe a Jim Abbott or a Tino Martinez or something. I thought these were really cool back when they came out. These minis. 86 Fleer. I remember getting this at a car show in Albany when they had shows at the Polish Community Center. I don't know if they still do that. Um, 86 tops traded. Probably the stars have been removed from this as well. Well, let's see, just in case. Be looking for, I guess, what, the Bo Jackson and uh, I guess Conseco. I'm pretty sure I took them out of here. And they probably now currently reside in um, a top loader in my top loader binder. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Wally Joyner was a big car. Look how off center that was. And I didn't even notice it back then. Yeah, I don't think it's in here. <clears throat> I still have more long boxes of cards, uh, but basically they're just um, sets that I assembled back when, you know, making sets was cool. I had like an 85 top set, 86 tops, 87, like multiple sets of those. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing's in here, right? Um, at some point, I might just, just donate them. Or maybe yank the star cards out and give them to my son. And then just get rid of the rest because it just occupies <clears throat> too much volume. Um, try to whittle down stuff. Put these away here. 
or maybe just sell them at a tag sale for dirt cheap. All right, so there's the, the traded set, 87 Fleer. I'm not gonna go through this one because I, I, I know I took the, the Maddox and the McGuire out of here. And the same with this Fleer Ultra, which I actually purchased this. This would have been around about when I was getting back into cars. Yeah, I know I took the stars out of this. Uh, maybe early, late 90s. I remember I was talking to a guy I, over the phone that I had an ad in Tough Stuff. Uh, this was pre-internet days, and he sold me on that. Um, miscellaneous stars and minor stars. Let's see what we got going on in here. Miscellaneous stars and minor stars. <laughs> Glenn Davis. Bo Jackson card. These were the stars of the day. Corey Snyder. Alvin Davis. Ellis Burks. Devon White. These were probably the first insert card. Uh, 86 Fleer, I believe. Wax or Rack Pack. No, the Wax Packs had these as insert cards. So send away Glossy. Look at this. And these were the insert cards for the uh, Fleer Rack Packs in 86, I believe. Eric Anthony. Yeah, well, apparently back then, I thought these guys had promise. Um, Jerome Walton, that was a big one. Sam Horn, Kevin Seitzer, Matt Noakes, Walter Weiss. So, uh, yeah, true to its label, stars, minor stars, I guess, at least back then. There's some older ones in here. And these 88 Donruss are <clears throat> opened. There's so much 88 Donruss printed that that opened product is rarer than what's still out there sealed in the wild. Let me put that into perspective. <laughs> That's how much of that stuff they printed. Definitely childhood collections here. Um, so it would have been probably uh, mid to late 80s. George Foster. I had a friend. There was a, a girl in our neighborhood who was a friend of ours. And she, we were over there one time, and she said she had a lot of uh, baseball cards. And they were 81 Donruss. And so we were looking at 81 Donruss and pulling the stars. And her mom comes out and says, oh, hey. You know, did you ever you show you show them your brother's collection? And of course, you know me and my buddy's eyes are lighting up, and um, they bring them out, and it's like all like yeah, seventy-five top set. There's some vintage cards in there, and we plucked like the best stuff. I took that my Brett rookie uh, came from there. My Yount, I think I still have those, um, and we got them for like nothing like maybe like a couple of bucks over for like a stack of cards. And anyway, what I'm getting at is that George, those George Foster cards were cards that I pulled uh, because I thought George Foster was a big time superstar. You know, he's on the Mets. And um, I should have been pulling like Nolan Ryan. Um, I mean, others. I mean, I did get the Brett, the MP tree. I mean, these are all guys that, oh, yeah, I remember buying these cards. When I, first, when I first started getting heavy into collecting, these were probably given to me. Look at this beater. Thurman Munson. Stars and minor stars. Mike Aldretti. And... Here, the last batch of loose cards here. Sam Horn, Matt Noakes, look at this. Jackie Sasser. Members Choice Canseco, Palmero, Sandberg. These 
These cards are hideous. Oh, so the what remains, I got these. All right, so these are, this came from the 87 Fleer factory set. This was kind of a big deal back then, this World Series set. That was exclusive to the Fleer factory. This is All-Star Team, the inserts from 88. This is 86, future Hall of Famers. Unfortunately, Rose, that was before he got busted for gambling. Um, all right, so there's that. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I did go through, so I, one of these was football. And I did go through and I, I cherry-picked, like, the best stuff for my son to put in his binder. Like, you know, 86, 85 football, nothing huge. Like, 1,000-yard Club Payton, maybe a Dickerson. Um, I had a lot of 89 Pro Set stuff like that so so what else we got going on here got the stack here it's like these are some promo cards from star wars wide vision maybe turn of the jedi yeah star wars empire strikes back and these are these came with like a die cast metal figure um, might have been like the first packaged or carded figures uh since the 80s these little metal ones they weren't posable they were just die cast i don't know what this is a bunch of comments here yeah there's nothing here uh well what's in this one looks like a bunch of oh this was where the uh, dick pole card came out of i think yeah these are all commons but these are definitely from there's a nettles card in there i like that card a lot actually Bucky Dent, Tommy Chan. What do I got going on? Oh, yeah, there's a story there with those Mets and Yankees team sets. Yeah, there's nothing in here. These 77s, I remember I was at a Little Falls Mets game, and uh, at the concession stand, they had like a, like a, a, a clamshell type of snap case that could hold like 100 cards. And these are nothing but commons, but, you know, back then, you know, I was, what, 12 or something. I thought, oh, those are really cool. It was like five bucks, and you got all these cards. They might have put one star on the front or a minor star to get you get the hook in you, but behind it was nothing but stuff like this. And um, this is where I pulled that dick pole. <laughs> um, yeah, there's really nothing in here. But cool, you know. To have cards like this back then, I got some 19. I think the 80s is the same deal. There was a, um, I did it for 77. Then I also bought like a stack of 80s, the same type of deal. I don't know if that Joe Morgan came with everything. But these might have been cards I. Yeah, some of these were part of a, yeah, some of these were part of that purchase. I think, if I recall, if memory serves me, the 80s, the, the 100 count set of 80s mixed cards, Willie Wilson was the top card, all right? So. Uh, and that was the best card in that particular lot. These here are Fleers. I remember buying these in cello packs at the local drugstore. And uh, there's no stars that are going to be in there. So we'll, we'll close that up. But they're kind of dingy and yellow now. Uh, mixed football. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to go through this. But I, I already did this with my son. I had... Um, um, let me open this damn thing. Yeah, so you can see some of what's in here. It's... Um, 86 tops football, uh, 1,000 yard club stuff. There's some of these are Fleer. Those, those action cards. 84 tops football. I bought a few packs off the shelf back in the day. Um, you know, 1,000 yard club. Here's 86, uh, 85. Um, these were all bought. Got these, I guess, Fleer action cards, I think. More 84s here. Some 83s that I think I got wax packs of at a friend's birthday party. And um, 91 floor, which I have no recollection of buying. Uh, here's some Pro Set. Maybe I grabbed a pack or two at the, the local store. And here is, oh, these are the Dominoes. I actually bought like, I think 50 packs of this stuff for like $15 for my son. Um, there's four cards in a pack. These are the ones. I think I already told this story, right? Uh, I feel like deja vu all over again. But I thought they were really nice. I mean, they're upper deck, you know, card stock. And I think upper deck did a really nice job with these uh, with the early football cards. Um, dirt cheap. And we're talking like, you know, pennies. 
but with some big names, old and new. And these were, um, yeah, I did tell the story. I, uh, pizza guy didn't leave the pack of cards. I bitched about it. I drove to Domino's and they probably felt bad and gave me a whole bunch to take home. So there's that. Uh, 8990 Hoops, 90 Skybox, Series 2, 90 Fleer Commons. All right, well, then we won't spend a lot of time on this thing. Oh, what's this? This is probably a, yeah, it's a reprint. It's still cool, though. The biggest football card, I think, of, uh, uh, what, 1935 National Chickle? Chickle? I'm actually uh, looking, I'm interested in the, uh, the Newt Rockney card from this particular set because that's a little bit more... Well, it's definitely within reach. Uh, this one, not so much. This is a big-time card, even in low grade, this Bronco Nagurski. Um, so, yeah, these are look, this looks, looks like, oh, yeah, Skybox. I didn't go through these to... There's probably nothing really in here. Skybox, 89 hoops. I got so much of this crap. I mean, I still have a... I have, uh, I think, a, a box of 90 hoops still unopened. Yeah, this 90 Skybox... I don't know if I, I probably would have taken the stars out of here. Let me go to the stack just for for reference and see if there's anything in here. I don't think so. I know these cards were kind of well. The Jordan card was really big during the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, there might be some minor stars in here, but um, I feel like I've taking the Jordans all out if I had any I'll go through the rest of the box off camera but I don't think there's anything in here judging by this first stack yeah nothing nothing alright so we'll close the loop on that one uh, I guess I'll put him back for now. And uh, oh, I have a um, I have a ninety score baseball card, complete factory set. And I I got this. I traded in a, at the time my comic book collection, which were all beat to hell. You know, I had a few hundred. In hindsight, I wish I had kept it because of the memories and the nostalgia. You know, I remember a lot of those books I used to have. But uh, anyway, the local card shop basically gave me this i had to give him five dollars in those comic books and he gave me this 90 score set which at the time was kind of a hot set i think it was the perception was it was pretty limited and therefore expensive for a complete set i think it was 45 bucks right so 45 bucks for a complete set back then was kind of like a lot of money um so i'm gonna pause the video and i'm actually gonna go see about that bo jackson card in here and see what kind of condition it's in i'm pretty sure it's still in here and i will be right back we'll take a look at that Okay, so here's the uh, the score set. The cellophane was removed from, or had been opened on this set. I don't know if I removed it and looked at these cards and carefully put it back on, but uh, everything looks to be, you know, it's all intact. It's nicely, nicely packed. And here is the Bo Jackson. And it looks good to me. Um, bow. So definitely a slab can for a future PSA sub. Unless somebody sees something that might make it not worth it. Yeah. So this is, this is kind of maybe the best card in this particular set, I guess. Um, so let me close this up. I don't like how they do the front because like the edges of the cards are there and you can close, if you're not careful, you can close on the edges a little bit. Uh, all right, so let's move this thing out of the way. And moving on, this is a long video. I got, oh, I already did this one, mixed football. We saw this, this is the, uh, Again, I went through and I pulled the stars. This must be a list of stuff I was looking for. I don't even know what this is. Upper deck basketball. I guess this is the old checklist. 
putting the other sets. Maybe I didn't finish it after all because I see some numbers there. And this is, this box is not labeled. Oh, let's see what we got going on in here. A uh, craft. Yeah, I remember I worked at a grocery store, I worked at Price Chopper, and um, these came in. I think we're supposed to give them away. I took like one of them from like the box, and um, I remember my buddy took like the whole box. He had like probably a few hundred of those sets. They're not, I don't even know what's in here. I should try to just open it up. Pat Kelly, Wade Taylor. Oh, Bernie Williams is in there. John Ramos and Willie Smith. It's not a bad Bernie card. And put that one in the in the good pile. In fact, maybe I had more than one. Maybe I kept one sealed and maybe I opened one. This does look like a familiar card to me, but no sense in still keeping it sealed. The set's not you know, worth anything. It gives a shit anyway, right? Um, all right, what do we got going on over here? Looks like I got some, well, let's see. These are all sleeved up. Apparently I thought these were worthy of extra protection. And it looks like we have a... Uh, track stars, this rocket edition. Oh, Johnson's Guns. I guess Larry Johnson, I think that's Rocket Ishmael. Keith Jackson, Tamu Salami. <laughs> yeah, these are... There's Brian Taylor, Chris Weber, Derek Coleman, Emmett Smith rookie card. All right. I own this already graded. I mean, I don't think I would, I'd probably give this to my kid. Second year moon, Chris Everett, <laughs> Larry Johnson. Thurman Thomas has declared global thermal nuclear war on the, uh, is that the, the dolphins there? Um, oh, it's a nice Montana. Look at that. Roger Craig, Bruce Smith rookie, Esiason rookie, Dikembe Motombo, a Dickerson rookie, Eric Lindros rookie, Andre Reed rookie, Percy Hoggs and Sherman Douglas rookies, Kenny Anderson, something else in here, two Kenny Andersons, Billy Owens, Stacey Augman, Steve Smith, Kenny Anderson, LJ, you got a Jim Lee Wildcats Wizard Magazine card. This probably, yeah, uh, this is, <laughs> I was in the comics too. And this Marvel Masterpieces promo card probably, I don't know what year that is, definitely early 90s. Wizard Magazine no longer is around, it hasn't been for many years. Rocket Nose Classic. Jesus. They were like milking the hell out of that guy as far as getting him on. They had the exclusive license Classic did apparently to, to show this guy and, they put him on everything they could and made up stupid shit for him to do, apparently. Um, now here's a nice rock of this mail card, right? Dominique Wilkins, Dikembe Motombo, another rock of this mail. Dikembe Motombo, Derek Coleman. Remember this set, wild card? You get like the multi stripe numbers variations on here. Aaron Johnson, Glenn Rice. Pat Falloon, Billy Owens, Steve Smith, Stacey Ogman. Yeah, I mean, just a lot of Larry Johnson, the Hawaiian shirt, or whatever that thing is. Probably got it at uh, Oak Tree. Um, remember that store? <laughs> um, Reggie Lewis, Sherman Douglas, Lottie Divac, Richmond, KJ, Sherman Douglas, big time Syracuse. I used to be really into college basketball back then. North Carolina was my team. But also like Syracuse. I started liking North Carolina when it was like, I think the starting five was like J.R. Reed, Scott Williams, Jeff Lebo, uh, Kenny Smith, and Ranzino Smith, I believe. How's that for a recall? 1986 Tar Heels starting squad, Carl Malone. These are, these are definitely Orlando Orridge, David Robinson. Here's an X Force card. Some more football here. Was a Lawrence Taylor score or pro set? I'm having a lot of fun opening these cards with my kid. I mean, these are you know they're, they're everywhere and they're dirt cheap, but man, you get a lot of these players and you can talk about the greats. Um, here's Warren Moon. They're nice looking cards, especially those early upper deck and uh, 
I like that 1990 Fleer football set. So peachy. This is Nicholas Lindstrom. I guess was he good? Danny Ferry. So these were apparently worthy of a sleeve. Um, and apparently these weren't. <laughs> what do I got going on here? These might be the most recent cards. What are these, 94s or something? I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, these are classic four sport. I can't even read these things. <laughs> yeah. You recognize anybody here? And they have the last name that I could see, but then the, the first name is in tiny gold lettering. And I can't see anything. Looks like Darren Dreifert. Anyhow, this is 1984. What I should do is go look and see what... Is this Mark Brunel? Yeah. Get through this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I should go through and see if there's... And it's doubtful, but to see if there's anything worth sleeving up from this particular set. 94, I guess it's 94 Classic 4 Sport. Is that all these are? Yeah, they're all that. So, okay. I must have bought a... Clearly bought a few packs. And then tucked them away in this box. An old style card holder here. Uh, I got some more. Molly Joyner, Pete Rose, Bill Swift, Jose. Why did I think these guys were good? Cliffhanger. What the hell is this? Nick Van Exel, 93 94 rookie. He was pretty good for the Lakers. They had some lean years in between the Showtime Lakers and then they got good again when Kobe came around. It was like. Guys like Nick Van Axel, Anthony Peeler. Remember George Lynch from the Lakers was uh, one of their better players. Um, yeah, those early 90s, mid-90s, Elvin Campbell. I mean, Magic came back and started playing again. People got over the fact that he had AIDS. They weren't worried about him catching it, except for Carl Malone. He was kind of a dick about it, but uh, no, you know, now it's not a big deal. Um, what the hell set is this? 9394 classic skybox. Uh, so probably nothing in here. Bobby Hurley, that guy was really good. Danny Ferry, a couple of Duke alums there, right? And, um, yeah, you're still with me. What else I got going on here? feel like those uh oh yeah action packed remember those like texture i bought some of these football ones for my my son like a star i found like a star a lot of like rice and sanders and marcus allen and he likes them because you know they have that texture to them so we had gotten one pack in that whole lot of packs that junk wax pack hoard and then he liked it so much i decided to go out and get him a again like for 10 bucks like a star lot of uh of those nfl uh, Shane Reynolds. Get some pinnacle here. Well, there's Nolan Ryan. That's not bad. I'll put that one over there. I'll probably give that to him. What the hell is this? Oh, Jack McDowell. <laughs> that guy was a character. Some 93, 93 tops, right? Barry Bonds, Joe Carter. And then I have, looks like, uh, some more Pinnacle. Pinnacle Shades. Grace, Mel Hall, this guy's still in prison, I imagine. Albert Bell. Yeah, I'm going to have to, basically what I got to do is go through all this stuff and just pull out the, really separate the stars and the Hall of Famers and then the rest of the crap just sort of like box up and maybe, I don't know, just give it away or something. Um, I'll put this back here. And then give um, give the key cards to my kid. 
I've created somewhat of a monster. In fact, uh, the parents at school are starting to get a little, I, I sense a little bit pissed off because, um, you know, he's bringing the binders to school now and he's showing off his cards and now his other friends are getting cards. And I think, you know, my wife was saying she ran into one of the moms and it's like, oh yeah, Luca, what's with the cards? <laughs> you know, my son's into it now. And, and uh, she's like, yeah, you're, uh, she's like, you're probably pissing everybody off by, uh, you know, Luca with all these cards and now his friends want them too kind of thing. I'm like, oh well, <laughs> they don't have to buy them. Um, anyway, put that there. I don't know this one back. What do I got left? I got a few things here. That's quite a long video, like I said. Um, I'm not going to go through this. And I know I cherry picked the stars out of this, the 87 Generous Opening Day set, which I thought was really cool because it was different uh, photography of, of, you know, the players, oh, this is a bunch of shit in here. Um, yeah, these are from Baseball Cards Magazine. Remember that? In fact, I think I just talked about that recently. These were like replica cards. Oh, my gosh. Here is, um, I try to explain this. This was one of the, if you had a nice card, this was the type of holder you put it in. Um, this or that like big chunk of loose sight that way you'd smash the corners by screwing it down. But look at the design of this thing. It's like a... You just kind of like place a card in here like this and you would close and I only find like a piece of shit card to put in here. I mean, if you had a nice card, I used to see these all the time. You'd put it in here like this. You know, honestly, it's not that easy either. And you close on it. But the thing is, it could like bounce around inside of here and like it's, you know, terrible, terrible design. Um, Red Sox tickets. Oh, this is a bunch of Red Sox games I probably went to with my mom. 1990. Because I li she lived in Boston. Um, you yeah. know. So I saved those tickets. These are, uh, these are, I bought these from, uh, this is a guy in town that actually had a little card thing on the side out of his house. And I remember he had these for like 15 cents. I thought they were neat. And I know these came from that Burt Randolph Sugar book that I have also that I acquired later and much later. But this is this has been like 1985. All oh, these are cool cards, right? But they're all reprints, obviously. Nothing there. Uh, more of this. Uh, these are the tops oversized. So this would have been part of. I think I got like one of those uh, football card collecting kits, and it came with a bunch of reprints. Here's one. Cons, Wieners, Jim Brown. Also, that uh, Bronco Nagurski most likely was part of that deal. Here's Cepeda. What else we got going on here? Bunch of hologram, not hologram, like uh, lenticular sort of team cards. These are probably Sport Flex related stuff. I got some, let's see some vintage here. Chuck Tan, these are all beat up. Al Brown, Archie, what the hell, this is X-Force, Caliban. Um, yeah, this is really, looks like I got some FLIR stickers. This is a Baseball Cards magazine. These are. Just random 1980s cards here. Nothing. Oh, this is, I know, this is a uh, ticket stub. I went to the Hall of Fame game, and it was the uh, Yankees and the Braves uh, back in 1987, the Hall of Fame game. And they didn't send their, you know, the A player. They had a few guys there, but, you know, when they, it's during the season. They're not going to send, like, Ricky Henderson and Don Manningly that thing. I think um, I think it was, like, Dennis Rasmussen and, um, you know, Gary Renneke and Bobby Meacham and, you know. They sent some of their star starters, but not the big names. Uh, 86 Fleer Minis here. Nothing to really look at. So, just a box of crap, basically. Um, I want to say that there's... You know, my uncle, way back when, during the same era, he gave me a stack of 1960s cards 1960 tops in which there was the the mantle which i still have to this day like here they are right here um Mays, clemente aaron i only end up keeping the mantle the other ones i traded off I got fleeced on but whatever uh yeah they're in here so here's some other stars that looks like 
Here's like a little pack of 66 tops that I remember buying for 250 at the that same Albany show, I think, where I got that 86 Fleer mini set. I don't know what I was thinking. It's just commons. And here's the here's the 60s stack. So this is just nothing in here. Um, I mean, this they're probably all like VG, VGEX. Um, Might be something I could sell as a lot, you know, for a set builder looking for like a low grade. And nothing here. Pumpsy green. There's some 62s in here as well. Almost like one pack's worth of 62s, maybe. Or maybe not. Pumpsy Green. Uh, and I think that is everything from this. So, um... <laughs> What are we at? We're at 41 minutes. I think it's my longest video ever. So anyway, thanks for uh, hanging in there if you did. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later.